Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Star Daily Card Reading for May 27th, 2021. I'm already getting this weird feeling. Let me just, and there was like a visual with this. Um, let me let me just try to break this down. So there's this, there's this message here of, it's about beauty. I know, what a random thing. It's about beauty and things are, it's not things, it's mostly people. People we had always put on pedestals. People we had said, they're, they're the beautiful people. Even people who walk around in life and they think they're more entitled than anybody else because they fit some sort of standard of beauty. I know this is weird. Hang with me. I'm seeing that kind of face and that kind of attitude and the person like morphing into a monster. I don't know what that means. I'm just laying it out there for you. Okay, they morph into a monster. And, you know, we were talking about people waking up to narcissism and starting to understand that you know, this is going on all around us. And that's not so that we can just go off and start, you know, because somebody says something we don't like, we go, you're a narcissist. People come back on me when I actually, I have a lot of experience with that, a lot, like my whole life, okay? So I can spot one pretty easily. Now it'd be very easy for a psychologist to say, well, that's not a diagnosis. Yeah, I know. A lot of psychologists miss that. And unless you've been through decades of experience with it, I, I you know, even if you have a degree, good for you, you don't have the same kind of experience I do. So even when I spot a narcissist, I'm like, no, that's a narcissist. Oh, you're just saying that because they don't agree with you or because whatever. So we have to be careful here. Again, you don't want to go just slapping that label on just anybody, but let's stop diminishing people when they actually are taking their experience and they're learning from it and pointing it out and say, no, something's not right there. And people want to come in and say, no, 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 no. Don't look behind the curtain. This is kind of what's going on here today where something, you know, we could always just very easily say something gets revealed. It's not that. It's a deep revelation. It's bigger. It's deeper. It's, it has something to do with beauty. It's very strange. I know, let me feel this out. I mean, we're going to have to see how this plays out, but it's like the people we were always, because this is how it's going through, the people we always thought of as beautiful and therefore better than everyone, we realize they hold not much beauty at all. So changing, it's not the definition of the physical beauty, but uh, yeah, it's sort of seeing the energy behind someone. And it's interesting because I remember, and I'll share this with you really quickly, growing up, all these people who were supposed to be the beautiful people, I didn't see it. I didn't, I didn't, I mean, I saw like some goodness in them, but if they were kind of nasty people, they were, they, they looked like monsters. They looked like, you know, not like big old literal monsters, but I, I wasn't entertained by their beauty. Let's just say that. <laughs> and then meanwhile, someone who, you know, someone said, oh, they're not very attractive. They're not whatever. I'm like, you don't see that beautiful soul light coming out of them. They're gorgeous. They're amazing. I want to hang out with them. You feel me? So that's a weird message. We're all going to have to see how that plays out for us today, but this could be uh, see, you know, this has that deeper message of seeing the world in a different light. And as weird, and some of you may even say shallow to look at like shallow beauty. And why are you talking about that in a reading? Well, it probably triggered you for some reason. But the reason why I'm talking about it is because of, um, you know, how we get brainwashed. I talk about that all the time, but the veil is lifting. The veil is lifting and we're looking around and we're seeing what really is beautiful in this world and what we have been um, tricked into thinking is beautiful. The mask falls off. Okay. okay. So I got so into that message that I never held up the card. The card is don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. This kind of goes along with the message where I, and I want to add on to this. It's, it's sort of like if we start trying to emulate the people that we're told are so beautiful and that, uh, they're so great, they're up on a pedestal. We're going to self-sabotage. This also goes into, uh, you know, as I noticed that I didn't hold up the card, I started thinking of an example. Uh, back here in 2020, I thought I was supporting small businesses by shopping with these online boutiques. And I completely got scammed by these people. And what was so funny is, I, you know, as I saw what was happening, like they were sending a bunch of packages under one tracking number, so they only had to send you one item of your entire order, to market is delivered customer service was like i don't know what to tell you it's marked delivered 
and you know anyway it was like a whole mess like super scammy <laughs> like really weird i'm really actually shocked they have not been uh investigated yet but my point is is that people worship these these business owners they worship them they act like they're friends and really what's going on there is that these people put themselves on a pedestal and say, I'm your buddy. Look at me. The way I live is great. Come and be with me. I'm going to let you be here so long as you're buying something from me. Oh, no, no, no. I always say you don't have to buy anything from me. But really, I'm going to do everything I can to get you to buy something, right? So, <laughs> so these people actually fall for it. And this is what's so disturbing. And I never actually even publicly, well, besides here, but I never went out and like actually tried to fight these businesses because their fan base is crazy. Okay, so like, I was like, you know what? Bye. Let God take care of this. So that's just an example of how sometimes we can get, it's almost like a cult, right? We can get kind of sucked into something just because someone says, this is it, this is great, I'm so great, look at me, okay? So when we talk about don't let pride get in the way, don't emulate those people, yes? And then, of course, there's a more obvious uh, meaning of this card, which is, you know, if, if something is being held up because you're being prideful or you're not progressing in your life in the way that you want because you don't want to take the steps to get to something. You know what I'm saying? Those are all the kinds of things that fall under the category of self-sabotage. So have some awareness today. Watch who you follow on social media. Watch who you give your money to and watch who you emulate. I mean, just don't fall for it. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.